This is John Renegade, a former army officer. He always knew what he was fighting for. He was always loyal. But one day, he had to abandon his beliefs. He was sent to battle against tier twos and right in at the deepest end down where the river breaks the gun can be playful and forgiving it's forever being this way it always feels like you're living He couldn't come to terms with what he had done. But they couldn't let him go after that. He was demoted, deprived of all decorations, and dishonorably discharged. So, he does the only thing a renegade can. He becomes a bounty hunter. Are you going to Himmelsdorf? Yeah, this damn blizzard's been on our heels for three hours already. I'm Marcus Wallace. And I'm John. Renegade, I know. The bounty hunter. Then you must know that she is a fugitive. Laurie, say hello to the Major. Hey, you thick-headed, yellow-bellied... How many times have I told you to not humiliate me in the presence of good people? Or should I tear off your track again? Forgive her, Major. She has no shells, but still thinks she can look down at us. <laughs> they like her kind in Himmelsdorf. But you won't make it in time. That blizzard will catch up with you sooner rather than later. But I know a place where we can wait out the storm. I'd appreciate it. Major Wallace had heard a lot about John. He respected him like a soldier respects a soldier. That's why he decided to help him. But what he didn't know is that the captive, loathsome Lorraine wasn't just another outlaw. She was a sheriff's daughter. Meet the loathsome Lorraine's father, the Highway County Sheriff, William T. Sanders V. I am a lawman, a lone wolf of justice. My path is always righteous. The job it must be done. There are a couple of things you need to know about the sheriff. Firstly, he can cope with his duties. And secondly, he's never afraid of getting his hands dirty. Two years ago, he lost his wife on the front line. And soon after, his daughter just ran wild. She became uncontrollable. She was threatened with being exiled to Himmelsdorf many times, and the sheriff would always cover for her. But palm greasing won't help him this time. This time, the sheriff would have to go hunting.
Welcome, dear travellers. It seems that it's not only me who was brought to this blessed haven of warmth and tranquility by these harsh weather conditions. Hmm. What's that Lima saying? He asked what the hell we're doing here. Hi, I'm John Renegade. He's Marcus Wallace, and this poor excuse for a tank is lorry. Been here a long time. My pleasure, gentlemen. And lady. Not at all. A few hours. Dear Antonio Progetoni kindly provided me shelter from this dreadful snowstorm. Antonio Progetoni. Let's stop right here and provide some clarification. John and Antonio go way back. They served in the army together, but all Antonio always cared about was decorations. And while John's code didn't let him take everyone out, Antonio's principles told him just one thing, to despise John for his lack of character. They weren't exactly friends, as you can see. You pathetic, slippery auto-reloader. What are you doing here? Uh, you clearly have a problem with him. This reptile will gnaw off his track just to win. Stats are stats, John. It's time you learned that. I heard about you. You were General Savage's right hand. And now you work at Matilda's. <laughs> it seems the things on the global map aren't going too well. <laughs> Are you sure about that? The appearance of General Savage was a real surprise for John. because our hero never thought about what happens to the generals after war. General Savage knew that he was good at two things, commanding and fighting. He couldn't come up with anything better than to put together a platoon. Now it's the most dangerous gang in the area. They found out that they could make a big score capturing Lori. So, they decided to set up an ambush. But they didn't consider that their old acquaintance, John Renegade, would be convoying Lori. So, they had to tweak their plans slightly. Hey, John. It's been a long time. What's your business here? Well, you know me. I'm a sentimental person. I missed you. Cut it out, old man. John, just give us the girl. We'll take her, and no one will get hurt. Somehow, I doubt that. Just try, and we'll see how strong your head is. Do it, John. Just follow the order, soldier. Not today. As you wish. Everybody, stay where you are. Father? Lorraine. Sheriff? Smurfs?
Rumor has it, only John Renegade survived that massacre. But it's merely a rumor. I survived as well. And even became the new sheriff. But unlike the old sheriff, I can't be bought. And John, well, with his reputation, it was hard to convince folks he wasn't responsible for that massacre. And now, there's a warrant out for John Renegade. 